This is Brianna, and she did a Movie Maker project, and this was last semester. And can you tell me a little bit about your project, please, Brianna? Uh, well, the, the project was, um, well, basically we were supposed to demonstrate, like, how, demonstrate how we're, that we were able to use Movie Maker. And so I kind of went out all out on this one. Instead of just using Movie Maker by itself, I also used Audacity to edit the sounds for my movie. And I also got some pictures to use for the movie, and I use it all to make this, like, four-minute little short movie. There was more to it, but I didn't get it all done. But it was came out good enough, I guess. Um, and the movie basically is about uh, me and my friend Chloe going through the Five Nights at Freddy's restaurant. And if you don't know, Five Nights at Freddy's is a game from Scott Compton. So the movie's just about us going through the restaurant and encountering the robot or uh, the animatronics in there. And so that after like just recording like some different houses, it took us a while just getting them to download and render through Audacity. And, so how how did you what how did you um use this non linear editing software? It helped honestly. Like um I had, whenever I had to put in the sounds I'm glad that I was able to move them around and not just have them like just entered after one after another because since I was able to move them around it made it so much easier for me to line them up accordingly with each uh, scene and to where it all just like comes in together on like on time and it wasn't it was just like the sound wasn't late or it wasn't too early it was just perfect. So you could be really precise with this. Mm -hmm. Now would it be helpful in a project like this if instead of, because I know one of the problems with Movie Maker is we can't add more tracks. Mm -hmm. So as far as video tracks, would it be helpful if you're able to have an application that you could have more than one video track? Yeah, because um, whenever I put in the sounds, I couldn't put like multiple like different sounds playing at the same time for one scene. I had to go in Audacity and like uh, combine them all together and then put it in, which took me longer, <coughs> but it was worth it. Okay. So with Audacity, you did the soundtrack and then you imported the soundtrack into a Movie Maker, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. And so you, you had to make sure that everything was able to synchronize. And sometimes I had to like zoom in real close so because it'll show more like it'll show a lot more whenever you zoom in. Mm -hmm. So like from time to time I'll have to like zoom in real close to make sure it's like right on time and not late or anything. Yeah, it it, it took a while but I got there. Well, that's wonderful. Well, it was a wonderful project, wonderful little movie, and I appreciated all your hard work on it. Mm -hmm. That's why you got a good grade. All right, thanks, Brianna. Cheyenne, and she's going to tell us a little bit about her Movie Maker project and what she developed and how she developed it. So, why don't you tell me a little bit about the project, Cheyenne? Well, what it was is it was basically the same as Brianna's, but instead of going all out like she did, I just made a simple little thing. It starts off with dear and then my best friend's name, and it's kind of like pictures and different memes of our friendship. So this isn't actually a, a like a digital story. This is just uh, like a music video for your friend? Yeah. Okay, that's awesome. All right, so how did you put it together? Well, first off, I had to have Mr. Watson... Um, I get the song I wanted because that song like pulls it all together and it's like oh. okay so so music's very important for your project and then I had to take the photos from my phone of us and transfer them over to my computer which my phone was being really dumb and did not want to work with me so that took some time and then I just went and pulled off different memes of best friends from the internet okay so what was your thought process as far as where you put the images, where you put the memes, what was your did you what was your thought process behind that? With some of the pictures I wanted it to go with a certain lyric, so I had to like rearrange it to where it would go that 
picture with that lyric, and then I wanted to do it us, meme, us, meme, or meme, us, meme, us. And so it was like, I had to organize it in a certain way, and it was like, huh. So with a non-linear editing program like Movie Maker, was that fairly easy to do? Mm, because like when I wanted it here, I could just click and drag and boom. Okay, excellent. Well, it was a wonderful project. And so the green represents what? What does the green represent? The green right here? Yeah. That's the music. Okay, so... And the sound waves. Okay, so they're the sound waves? Mm-hmm. Excellent. And then, so you can see those... And you put in credits, you put in a title. It's the whole shebang. That is wonderful. Well, thank you so much for your project. I appreciate your work on that. And I hope it was a fun project. It was. Excellent. And it's something you will be able to keep for for the rest of your life too, huh? I'm going to show it at Tanil's wedding. Are you going to show it? That's... <laughs> that... be like, we're in the <laughs> That's great. All righty. Thank you.